Tonight, police are searching for a person who attacked a woman with a hammer in Central Park overnight. And that's not the only incident they're looking into. Within the past week, there have been four different attacks or robberies in various locations around the park. You can see them right here on this map. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado live in the park tonight with the details. Zania. Well, Maurice and Christine, we spoke to many people here in Central Park throughout the day, and all of them with a very similar reaction, just surprised to hear about all of these incidents taking place during the last week. And the latest incident, as you guys mentioned, happening overnight, a woman hit with a hammer and police still searching for the suspect responsible. Just after midnight, police say a 39 year old woman in Central Park near 64th Street and Center Drive was approached by a man who hit her in the back with a hammer. Authorities say the attack was unprovoked and that the suspect then took off on a moped. The woman suffered minor injuries and police say they are still searching for him. And a few hours prior on Sunday around 8 p.m., police say 55 year old actor Michael Stolbarg, well known for his role in Boardwalk Empire, was walking near 90th Street and East Drive in Central Park when he was hit in the neck unprovoked with a rock. He was not seriously injured. Police say Stolbarg then chased the suspect, Xavier Israel, towards East 91st Street. That's where officers took the 27-year-old man, who according to police is homeless, into custody. He was charged with assault. Meanwhile, Stobarg is set to perform at tonight's first preview performance of Patriots on Broadway at the Ethel Barrymore Theater. I expect to walk in the park. Both New Yorkers and tourists say they have their own ways of keeping safe while in the park. I come from Milan and we always we also have like this big park in the city center. As a general rule, I, I would guess city parks at night are probably not the best places where to go. Often I'm wearing my headphones, so I'm trying not to wear my headphones as much and be more aware. In addition to the recent assaults, police sources can Confirm two robberies took place within the last week in the park. Police say on Wednesday, a 38 year old man was robbed at Knife Point near 77 East Drive, and on Tuesday, two people sitting on a bench were robbed at Knife Point near 64 Center Drive. Police sources say a pattern has been established connecting those two incidents and other robberies to the same group of teenagers. No arrests have been made. And according to NYPD crime stats, up until March 24th, the Central Park Precinct has seen a spike in robberies so far this year. A total of 10 robberies have been reported compared to just two during this same period last year. We're live from Central Park. Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you. By the way, police do say that the man arrested for assaulting Michael Stolbarg has two prior arrests and assaults, one for robbery. Those all took place in 2022. Central Park has safety tips posted on their website, including the locations of call boxes that you can use in case of emergency. We have posted a link to that information on our website, cbsnewyork.com.